hello and happy August. If you watched the last vlog, you saw it end exactly how we're beginning today. Um, I am standing in my beauty room about to declutter. So I showed you guys in the last vlog the situation at hand in this room right now. It's really, it's, it's an ugly situation. Except for that. That's a cute situation. Um, but I'm about to... No big deal. Just didn't bring light on the floor. Um, I'm about to tackle my eyeshadow palettes and declutter them. I'm actually going to film a separate declutter video because this vlog is going to be the moving process. So moving, driving, well, you know, packing. Is this, am I in focus? So anyway, um, I just wanted to get this ball rolling. I don't want to spend too much time blabbing because this vlog is going to be jam-packed full of things. So I'm going to get to my declutter and uh, let's do, let's see where August, August takes us. It's going to be crazy. Well, hello. Uh, so yesterday I filmed a declutter. <laughs> Sort of. I, I'm really bad at filming declutters. I need to open these blinds here. So, yeah, so I just, um, I shot this makeup look. I used the Natasha Denona bronze palette. Do this little smoky eye. Got a little half lash going. Um, so I filmed a declutter yesterday, and I didn't have my nails done or anything, and whatever. I, what are you gonna do? I did them today. Yesterday I did my eye, eyes, The eyeshadow palettes, liners, mascaras, all eye products. I decluttered quite a bit of eyeshadow palettes, I feel, but I um, did not declutter as much liners and stuff because the way that I pack them, this is a mess, but um, everything is in these little things and they stack, so it didn't really matter and I didn't have a lot, so not terribly worried about that but i did declutter quite a few palettes what i ended up keeping some of the stuff i have pulled out here because i'm about to film a video um of ranking my palettes from 2020 but everything that i'm keeping fits into this box for the most part with the exception of my naked palettes because i forgot about those because they were on display and they weren't in the drawer but that's everything i'm keeping and then I was getting rid of all of those and then all of these over here. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. So today I'm going to do, I'm going to rank some eyeshadow palettes today. Then I'm going to do an intro and to my declutters, an intro and an outro. And then I'm going to declutter all of my face products. And while I'm decluttering, I'm packing. So I'm going to declutter my foundations, concealers, primers, and face powders, bronzers, blushes, that sort of thing, and pack them away. And then I will have, I should have one full box containing all of my makeup, except for the eyeshadows, which are coming in the car with me because they will get shattered if I try to let movers move them. We don't want that. I may put my bronzers or like my face palettes and stuff in a box and take that in the car as well. I'm just limited because I have so much stuff that needs to go in my car. So I just need to be careful and I'm driving 2,500, 2,400 miles and I don't want to like entirely block the back window, but I might have to, so we'll see. This is totally random, but I wanted to show you guys this. I reviewed this in, well, I didn't review it. I did like a trying new, oh, this lighting is terrible. We gotta get out of here. I did a trying new makeup video, or trying new products video, and it's dirty right now because I just used it, but this brush, this is like an anti-static. It's, uh, the brand is called X, like the letter X, static. And this, it has like a, almost like one of those dryer sheets and it slides in over the bristles. You gotta watch that video to really see, but you brush it through your hair. You know how, have you ever heard that like dryer sheets, you put them on and it gets rid of the frizz? Well, this is the same idea without the chemicals. You you know, you shouldn't probably put those on your hair because they're full of chemicals you shouldn't be breathing in. 
And this, you just brush it through and it opens up and you can change out the little felt sheet that's sitting over the bristles. But it like really helps like smooth. Like I can't even believe like this is air dried hair. And this is like, I mean, it's not perfect because they had it up or whatever, but it got rid of so much frizz. I'm like really highly impressed by this brush. And I think I'm going to interview the founder of the brand on the podcast soon. I'm um, still talking to the PR about it, but like, I did not see that coming. Like it was just a random product that got sent to me. And I was like, this thing, I mean, you would think, is this gimmicky? Cause it's kind of like one of those types of products that could either be like super gimmicky or like really impressive. And it was really impressive. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna go, the dogs wanna, you, what do you want? He stares at me so intently because he has to go P-O-T-T-Y. And he'll just stare at me until I notice that he is giving me the death stare and he is sending me subliminal messages to say, it's time. Oh, stop. Okay, you gotta go pee pee? Do you gotta go potty? Yeah? Okay. Hey guys, today is like the 8th. I'm actually heading over to a girlfriend's house to have a cocktail just to hang out since I'm going to be moving soon. It's the first time I've had any alcohol since April <laughs> and it's August. So we'll see how that goes. Probably gonna have one drink and have a buzz. But I was thinking I should say bye to people. I've been so preoccupied with getting out of here that I was like, oh, well, I can't just like leave town without like seeing people that I've, you know, my friends, you know what I mean? So I'm supposed to have lunch with Michelle Wong next week. I'm leaving in one week from Monday. So I gotta go to LA and come back and finish. I have so much stuff to still sell. I'll, I will say that my stuff is selling like hotcakes, so that's good. I've sold like quite a bit already. I still have so much more, but it's just so much work selling stuff because once you list it, everybody wants to come right now and you have to be ready, you know? And so it is, it's kind of like a pain in the ass. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it because I'll get money that I can turn into new furniture, which my mom's already picked up some cute um, pieces. The thing about Florida is they have some insanely beautiful um, furniture, like solid wood quality vintage pieces for dirt ass cheap. Like they're just like giving the shit away. Like $50 for like, I think I paid 40 for a 77 inch long dresser that is beautiful. But it, you know, it needs a little TLC, but like I am gonna make it my own anyways, you know, change the poles, paint it. I'm gonna actually, I think, record, like film some of these little like furniture DIY things that I do. I was thinking that might be fun content to share with you guys. I'll do like before and afters of like some of the furniture pieces and stuff and I'm just excited to share all this stuff with you guys. I, I'm just so distracted by the newness and the home decor that like, if I get to Florida and I'm miserable, like I have at least other things to distract me. It can't be worse than it is right now. It can't be. Anyway, I'm gonna go hang out with her and um, I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> Cross country. 
So I'm here to get my Botox, but also to see like my peeps, my friends, and I'm having dinner with some people tonight just to say bye because I probably won't see them for a, a hot minute. It's a little emotional as I drive into the city. I'm feeling some type of way about it because I don't know when I'm going to be back here. And I don't know, being able to drive to the beach here and drive to LA anytime I want, there was like a comfort in that. And it never really felt like I was far, like I was moved away, you know, because I had access to it anytime I wanted. And now... I will have to fly to it. Like I was upset about it. It was like the, my least favorite thing about this move is being so far from LA, but now it's like really, I'm really feeling sad. So anyway, I'm going to see my people at Cosmetic Laser Works to get my Botox, get a touch up on my lips, get maybe a little, a little some, some tweaks. drinks I didn't go out we went to my girlfriend's house and had drinks in LA and your girl had a few too many and then I woke up the next day hung over and had to drive back to Vegas with my dogs so um, now I'm going to pick up my friend Amanda and she's gonna help me pack um, I have three days until the movers come um, today's Friday they come Monday so um, I have still quite a bit to do most of the boxes are packed but there's just a lot of like getting rid of things I'm not taking and selling things and cleaning up and just last minute boxes and the things that are going in my car and donations you know all that stuff so she's coming to help me with that I have a tele video with a doctor for my mold case it's crazy like I'm doing all this stuff like the mold the packing and I'm like organizing stuff on the other end like I just bought a treadmill and my mom's going to pick it up so I had to coordinate that it's just a lot of moving parts somewhat stressed out but I'm like trying to keep it together um, going to LA definitely was uh, ambitious but you know we did it <laughs> I feel better. I got my Botox, so it hasn't kicked in yet, but it will. Four hours down, four hours back was rough. I'm going to be doing minimum eight hours a day driving. So the dogs did really good by the second day, but my back was killing me, so it ought to be interesting. Anyway, so I just wanted to check in and say hey. So I am here having my last my yeah, last drink with the girls. It is, like, it really is. It's my last like, hurrah. Oh my gosh, we're gonna miss her so much. Aww. So sad, so sad. You look terrible. It's moving day. Uh, movers are taking my things. I look like death right now. Um, but we're just not gonna pay attention to the fact that my brows are a mess and I'm a mess. But it's moving day, they're coming to get my stuff. And then I 
have to go to the Goodwill and send a bunch of donations. I'm not actually hitting the road till tomorrow. But I just wanted to check in, show you guys the, the status, what's left. So, good times. Actually, it's the next day. So the movers came and got everything yesterday. I stayed one more day just for the last of it. All this stuff is going in my car. I spent the morning packing up my car. But this is it. That's the end. I wasn't able to take my packs because the movers said it wouldn't make it, it would break. So I ended up just leaving it here. I took all the drawers, so I'll have to buy a new frame when I get there. But this is my farewell filming room. Is there anything else back here? No. I got everything, I think. And there's my bedroom, all empty. It's shrink wrap that the movers left here. And that's it, that's a wrap. So I'm heading for Albuquerque. I'm loading this stuff up in my car and then we are out of here. <laughs> Why do you have lipstick on? 
when you're road tripping? And the answer is because I didn't have lipstick on yesterday and I kept like, I don't know, I, my lips were getting irritated and I could feel them almost getting dry and I did, I did not want to get like chapped lips while I was on the road. And if I have lipstick on, I won't mess with them. I think it's just normal part of the healing process of, you know, getting my filler touched up. So I just was like, I'm going to put some lipstick on just so that I don't like do this and like lick them and like, you know what I mean? Irritate them. Anyway, I'm sure you don't care about that. So I got, I got two uh, iced coffees for the road because priorities. I slept like shit. The hotel that we got was so shady. I just got a hotel like right off the freeway because I didn't want to venture too far off the beaten path. And it was like not, not good. The walls were paper thin. So every, the dog, every like noise the dogs heard, they were like on high alert. So there was a lot of woofing under their breath. And like, I didn't really sleep good because I was worried about someone breaking into my car computers in here, you know, things like that. So I kind of slept crappy. What's up, buddy? And the dog slept crappy, so I'm hoping after he he goes through his initial, he goes through this, like, when we first get in the car where he gets, like, worked up, but then he'll relax and, like, take a nap. Gunner's already back there <laughs> napping. <laughs>
Pensacola, leaving Alabama. I stayed in Alabama last night. Interesting place, Alabama. <laughs> um, exactly kind of what I imagined it would be. I've never been to Alabama, but I can check that off my bucket list. I'm exhausted. I mean, am I exhausted? I'm not that tired as much as I am sore. So I didn't get a great sleep last night because my left hip is like burning, inflamed, and just it's over it. The road trips are, <clears throat> you know, uncomfortable when you're like not getting a lot of time out of the car. But I got there relatively early last night. I mean, I got there at like 6.30 p.m. and I didn't get on the road until like 9. Well, I mean, we left at 8 and then I had to get coffee and gas and all that. Um, there was like no Starbucks in Alabama and I was in like Mobile or Sarah Land, which is like next to Mobile, Alabama. No Starbucks. So I had to get like a mom and pop coffee, which was fine. It's fine. It tastes fine. But they only have like one size and I'm like, can I have like a Trenta? It says that I'll be there in like eight and a half hours. So now we get into, we're getting into Florida and tropical life. We're now going to be tropical puppies, right? I mean, tropical puppies. No more desert life. No. No more desert life for us. So I guess I'll check in with you guys a little later. I just went and picked up a mirror um, for the new place. So yeah, I'm trying to learn the lay of the land. Um, still, like I'm staying at my mom's until my house is, till the person who's in my house is out of my house. So for now, <laughs> my mom's garage is full of furniture and um, the movers have my furniture in storage. So I'm just, um, waiting planning I did go in the house um the tent let us go in just so we could like measure because we're renovating the kitchen and uh, it's really dirty but I got to see like how it looks and what the layout is and there's a little a small third bedroom that's going to be like I'm making it into like a workout room so that's why I got this mirror so that I can see myself working out um it's small it's not as big as I pictured I don't know why I pictured it bigger, but um, it's great for me and the dogs. Sorry, keep the camera still, Jane. Um, it's great for me and the dogs. It's humid here, but I don't know, like when I left Vegas, it was so hot that it doesn't feel as bad here, if you can believe that. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to feel way worse here than there, but... You're just wet after being outside for like 15 minutes. You just get, your body just gets sweaty. But I'm not having like breathing issues or anything, you know, like where over there I had like massive breathing issues. So that is, that's good. So that is my story for today. I just wanted to check in because I haven't checked in with you guys. Like the first two days I was here, it was just like, I hit a wall and I just needed sleep. I felt awful. I think it just all the stress and the driving and I was, you know, it was like, it was intense. So it's just nice now that I, I'm, you know, I've rested, I feel better. I already feel like I can think more clear than I could. It's crazy. So I wanna do like a whole vlog about like the decor and how I'm going to style it. Um, I'm definitely going for more like neutral. I, I 
think my furniture before was like, or my decor was like really, like it had glam elements and I'm trying to tone down the glam elements and add more rustic type of vibe in. More minimalist-ish. <laughs> um, neutral colors. More like restoration hardware vibes. Um, not completely, but like adding some of that in. A mix of like California minimalism with RH with a tiny bit of glam because I did keep some of my stuff, you know. I'll see how it all pans out. I did make some like um, inspiration boards on like an app and so I have inspiration boards for my bedroom and for my living room. My office is pretty much I already know how it's gonna go, I think. September's vlog will be all about that since August is all about kind of the move. September will be all about the new house. Oh, hello. Here we are, mom's house. It's kind of messy right now because my shit is everywhere, but we're gonna ignore that. And we're gonna look at the view. This is the patio. That is a puppy. She's got her little jacuzzi right there, but there's this canal back here, which is very peaceful. And actually, let's go through the door so you don't have to look at the screen. So here it is. Ranger. He doesn't hear you. Stop. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. I pick you up. I know. I know. I know. Can we talk about my hair? The frizz is so fucking real. So I've decided to organize my mother's kitchen because it's a shitting mess. So I took out all of her like Tupperware. And I organized this cabinet. This was a disaster before and I just didn't film it. I don't know why. But I organized all of her storage containers and the lids up there. And I made this look somewhat orderly. This had all those things stuffed in there. So I'm using all, going to use all of her extra containers to organize her pantry. And I'm going to put spices here because she always has like random ones here because she wants to be able to access them, but she has them all in here, which makes no sense to me. All right, so here it is after. It's been a couple of days since you last saw it. It did only take me one day to do this, but I've been busy organizing. Look, I got my nails done too. So nice to have normal nails. Anyway, so I organized this without buying any organizers. So I just used literally what she had I took a basket and I put all of her little like packets inside, just like whatever kind of seasoning packety type of a thing. All of her workout, like healthy shit here. I used an empty jar she had. She had cough drops that she wanted in this closet. I don't know why, but they're in a jar now. I used these plastic bins to organize cans and jars of food. And then this one for all her sugar types. She's got stevia, coconut sugar, brown sugar, just sugars. And then these two baskets she had, and I just used her, them for her like little clips. And then she had like a pack of gum. So I just stuck that in there too, because that was random. Um, here, this, it was in her closet, but it had these little bars and no like flat surface. So I used the lid to this one for her like tuna and stuff. And this one is just, this could probably go somewhere else, but I just kind of stuck it in here. This is her maca powder, but um, this is all her cooking stuff, oils, coconut oil, and various things for cooking. And I just stuck that in there because it fit. There's a thing of baking soda right there. And then here's some more like fitness. This is her other, these are the ones like in use. She's got like some fitnessy stuff. And then down here is 
oatmeals, rice cakes, snackies. She's got some quinoa back there. And then all of her um, storage bags are all right here. And then coffees and teas, everything relating to coffee and teas here, her beans. I put back in this container here because she grinds her beans, so I just fit them in there. She's got some napkins and straws. Ooh, breaking the law. And then I put all of her teas. I found this um, wooden thing in a drawer she had. So I, she had all these teas, like boxes of teas, bag, like little Ziploc bags of teas, just randomly like scattered. So I organized them in this little thing so she can just pull it out and see all the different types of teas that she has or whatever. And then all of her K-cups are in here. I've got a rogue one here and then her coffee filters. Down here is just all extra paper products are in here. Spoons, napkins, plates, a giant baking soda. And then she's got a food saver and some white vinegar and popcorn, random. Um, so that that is what I did with that. <clears throat> her cabinets, I just, I got rid of a bunch of stuff and donated a bunch of stuff. So I put all of her spices and stuff here because this is where her appliances are and where food is made. So why have it in that pantry, you know? So I just kind of organized, this was just a mess. Do you guys see this hair? Look at this. This is what is happening to me living down here. In this humid place my hair is so frizzy if you guys have like a solution to that please let me know i look like ass because i just woke up a little while ago last night we went to dinner and had i had two glasses of wine and i got toe up you guys i was like sloppy messy but yeah so i'm in the process of organizing we have the red cross coming to pick up a bunch of her stuff um next week so I want to get to the rest of the kitchen. And I just saw her closet and I was like, oh gosh, we've got our work cut out for us. So that's what I've been doing. I really should be catching up on work and my own shit, but I have, you know, taken some organization time. I'm actually uploading a video right now. It's gonna be my first video back for you guys, but it is pre-filmed. I have like six pre-filmed videos I'm trying to get through. And we did find out that the guy who's in my house is going to be leaving not this coming week, but the week after. So I've got like a week and a half to like work on other stuff before it's gonna just be straight up house. I'll give you guys like an empty house tour and um, show it to you like in its raw form so that you guys can see it progress I have a lot of ideas of what I want to do to it, but anyway, look at this view. First of all, she needs to de I need to declutter this whole yard. She's got these random uh, metal things on the window, but um, her plants have no rhyme or reason. I feel as though I need to declutter them, but like this view is so pretty. You guys were seeing it on Instagram thinking it was my house. I wish this was my view, but it's not. I have a yard, I don't live on water. Although, Hurricane Lara just uh, happened and I was like, ooh, I'm actually, I'm kind of glad I don't live on water because oh. if the storm, excuse me, if the storm surge had happened, if that storm had hit here, these are canals out here, there's a lock leading out to the Gulf of Mexico but it's only 10 feet. So the storm surge they were talking about with Lara was like supposed to be 20 to 30 feet. It would have pushed all that water in here and her house would have flooded. And I was like, mm, actually, I'm uh, kind of glad I don't live on water. So I can just drive to the water, you know? What do you have to say? He's loving the lizards. There's lizards here and he's thoroughly enjoying chasing the lizards. My mom's got a crate here because she is getting her own dog soon. This plant, I just bought at Lowe's. It's a Monstera and I'm so excited because I've been wanting one of these, but I just didn't think it would really fare well in the desert, but plants really grow great here. So I got this little pot and I'm gonna try my hand at Monstera-ing. And my mom made me some plants, like she took some of her plants and broke them off and we're propagating them to 
grow. There's some pots, uh, as you can see right over there, <laughs> I'm growing some plants. I want all of the plants. And total side note, slippers I just got from my mom's bedroom. They were my grandmother's and she never wore them. They were brand new. She was gonna donate them. So I'm like, give me the slippers. Cause now I don't have any carpets. Like, well, my mom has tiles and her, these are all tile. My floor will be um, vinyl, but having slippers is kind of nice. And these are like memory foam. They're all squishy and they were my grandmother's and she's passed away. So I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. Right? We had to put sheets on all the furniture because Licky Paws, is this one, he licks his paws and just licks his paws and he'll cause watermarks on the furniture, so. Hey, hi. See, are we happy now? See, we're much happier here than we were in the desert. We got grass. They're just, they really are. They're getting to walk more. They're just, they're so happy. Honestly, I don't know how I personally feel yet. Like people are asking me like, are you happier? Do you feel like better? And I'm like, I don't know yet. Like I don't really feel, I don't know what I feel. I'm still processing. I think once I'm in the house, like my house and it's decorated and I'm in like back to my regularly scheduled program in terms of like, work schedule and like just life routine then I'll have a better idea of like how I feel you know but I'm displaced at my mom's house so it still almost feels kind of vacation vibes because I'm not in my own house I'm living out of a suitcase do you know what I mean so next month will really be more of like reality I mean you guys are going to see me renovate the house and like decorate the house and all of that but you'll see me kind of get settled in We'll see how I feel at that time. So I'm actually gonna go work on this, getting this video published for you guys and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so today is um, run around to Home Goods Day. I'm having really a lot of fun with Home Goods. Um, so I found this lamp at one of the Home Goods and it was like a snakeskin gold lamp. And I just thought it was so glam and so beautiful, but there was only one and I wanted two. So we went up, there's one home goods kind of, it's kind of the thing about where I'm living now is that, or I'm going to be living, it's a little more remote than other areas. So there's a really big, really nice home goods, but it's like 40 minutes away. And then there's a smaller, more kind of quaint home goods that's like five minutes away. So the quaint one had one lamp, and so I went to the other one and I found one of those lamps. How much? 60. They only have one. I wonder if the other one's at the other home goods. I'll have to go get it today. Hmm. I really like it. So then get it. I think I need it. So now I gotta go back to the point one and see if that other lamp is still there. I did get the one at the big one. So and that's what I'm doing right now. So I have, I got like a couple of little things. I've gotten actually a lot of things. Maybe I'll do a haul. Probably not in this vlog. It'll probably be in the next vlog because I still have more stuff I'm getting. But I've picked up a few little things. So I'm going also over to the house because I got a few more packages that have come and the guy is still living in there, but he's got my packages. Um, Urban Decay, I think, just launched a new palette and I'm fairly certain it's there. And Benefit launched some new things. Uh, I think they're a microblade pencil or something. And that is there also, I think. I don't know. There's another package there. I got to see what it is. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm really tired. I've really been struggling to get on this time zone. Like, I, I'm just, I'm constantly tired. Anyway, all right, well... Just thought I'd check in since I'm driving over to there right now, and uh, I will catch you guys later. I got pile.
piles of things everywhere. This is my mom's garage. But um, I am about to work on rehabbing a piece of furniture right now. I was going to publish the vlog and I realized I didn't do an outro. So um, I guess that's a wrap on August. We're about to start. We are starting September. And um, yeah, next month's vlog is going to be more fun, I think. So um, I'll see you guys later.